You might have been wondering, how do you use the Shabam network? You might be confused. Today, I'm going to go through how to actually utilize the Shabam network in just a couple minutes. All right, so we're going to go over here to the ship.io page. You can see this button that says go to Shabam. We go ahead and click on that. That's going to load up the front page of the Shabam web page. It's going to ask you, what do you want to use, MetaMask or Phantom? I'm going to choose to use MetaMask, and then I can connect a wallet to use the Shabam network. So I'm going to click up here, connect a wallet. Let's connect a wallet using my MetaMask. There you go. I have a wallet connected now, and I can go ahead and see which network do I want to be on, Ethereum mainnet, or I can switch networks. We're going to talk about that again here in just a second, but let's say I wanted to go ahead and start with just depositing some balance into the Shibarium network though. I can utilize that. Well, I can click on this bridge option right here, and then I can choose to bridge from the Ethereum network because I'm currently using the Ethereum network, and then I can select a token to actually bridge over. You can see the token options as soon as this loads. You can go ahead, bridge over Bone, Shib, Leash, or ETH. So you can pick which one you want to actually bridge over right there. I'm going to choose to do Bone. So we're going to go ahead, bridge over some bone. I'm going to choose the maximum of that bone and I want to bridge that over to the Shabam network. Now this gives some important disclaimers. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and delegate or stake your balance, you'd have to do that on the Ethereum network. And it gives you that disclaimer right here. You can do that on the Ethereum network, but what is possible on the Shabam network right now, you can move funds from Ethereum to Shabam. You can have your funds moved from the Ethereum mainnet to the Shabam mainnet. And this should take approximately 20 to 30 minutes. So we're going to head, click on continue, and we're going to go ahead and approve these deposits. Also, just a heads up, this took me about two or three minutes for this thing to actually load. So it does take a couple minutes. Just let it keep loading and processing and giving you an estimate as to how much this is actually going to cost. Then can go ahead, click continue and confirm the transaction fairly easily up here. So yep, I want it to be able to spend 67 bone. I'm going to approve that. That's going to load and I'll get back to you. Then I have to go ahead and complete the deposit. This is going to cost a little bit more. It looks like this is going to cost me basically $7. So I can go ahead and confirm that. That's bringing my total cost for this transaction basically to 10 bucks. So just a heads up, that's what it is right now. Of course, the gas fees change over time and it's going to be processing for, it says about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll let you guys know the exact time once it's done. All right, I am back. It only took me about 12 minutes for that transaction to process. Of course, be prepared to wait up to 30 minutes for your transaction to process going from the Ethereum network into the Shibarium network. And we're going to talk about going from Shibarium network to Ethereum because there's some important information you guys need to be prepared for before you try and do that transaction. But before we talk about that, you might be wondering, how do you actually see this balance? Because right now, now you guys can see, I am showing the bone balance at the top instead of a normal Ethereum balance. You guys can see up here, I have the Shibam network added to my MetaMask wallet. How do I do that? Well, if you want to do that, you can actually go ahead. Let me close this out. You can click up here and we can click on switch network. When you do that, you have the option Ethereum or Shibam. If you click on Shibam, you don't have it added yet. It'll add it for you. And if that is not showing up, you guys can go back to ship.io you click on the shib rpc and you can actually click on this one or this one you can add it that way to your metamask wallet if it's not showing up for you for some reason so now i have my balance on the shibam network i am on the shibam network now let's say i wanted to go from for example and do a withdrawal the important thing to note here is that this currently says for example let's say you're trying to go in this case from shibam to ethereum if you're doing that, it's going to say that it's going to take anywhere from 60 minutes to three hours. However, that's not actually what we were told recently. This is maybe with the target range that they're aiming for. However, they told us something different. When we go ahead and take a look at this Shibarium scaling final update post and we scroll down, we get some information about this. So like, as it says right here, 45 minutes to three hours when you're trying to withdraw with SHIB, Leash or Wrapped Ethereum through the bridge. It's going to take two checkpoints, which is that time period. However, a bone withdrawal will take up to seven days. Doesn't disclose that right there. So if you end up depositing bone, like I ended up doing, as you guys can see, based on my MetaMask wallet, let's say I wanted to pull this off of the Shibam network and set it over to my Ethereum wallet. It could take up to seven days. So just be prepared for that, guys, because it does not disclose that on this other page, something that you need to be aware of. Now you guys can go ahead, click on this tab on the left here and see the transaction has been deposited as well. So I can see deposited the 67 bone. I can see that balance. And I could go ahead, open up this to actually look at those transactions and see the confirmation that, yep, I actually did deposit the balance into my Shibarium wallet. And then if I want to go ahead and send some money from one wallet to the other one, all I'd have to do is click on the send button, just like in the normal Ethereum wallet. You can see how much do I want to send. So I say, I want to send five bone, and then it has a estimation right here for the gas fee, which is extremely small, 
fractions of a fractions of a penny. So extremely affordable gas fees right now. That might be changing over time. We'll see how that goes and ends up in the future, but extremely affordable. I'd guess it ends up hopefully around a cent. That way we can burn a ton of Shiba Inu. But this is guys how you guys actually can go ahead, set up the Shibarium wallet, add some balance to your Shibarium wallet, whatever you want to deposit. Simply just go up to the bridge again, do it that way. And if you want to stake, I'm going to probably have a dedicated video about staking. That has to be done on the Ethereum mainnet. So I'll probably do a video about that one. But this is how you get set up on the Shibarium network. If you guys appreciate this content, make sure you subscribe down below and I'll catch y'all in the next one.